Hello! I know it's been about a month since I posted a video but guys, let me just tell you this month has been so crazy and this video is a month update basically talking about all of the things I've had to go through which are probably like not that bad but for somebody that has lived with her parents her whole life uh, this has been pretty intense. When I got here, I was uh, staying with my boyfriend. Uh, I know you guys don't know him and I've been very private about him, but I'm definitely going to be doing a video soon of introducing him, uh, you guys getting to know him and stuff like that. His name is Juan. So I was staying with him and we were staying at this apartment that he actually had to leave like his lease ended november 1st i got there october not not october september september 22nd yes we still had time and the plan was that i was gonna find my own place he was gonna find his own place he actually had a plan with two other guys to get an apartment we came up with the idea that maybe maybe i could join the plan and we could find a four bedroom apartment because here in New York, the bigger the apartment, the better everything is. And it ends up being cheaper, it ends up being a bigger living room, a bigger kitchen, you know? So that was the plan. So uh, we started looking and we found this place that we really, really, really liked. So we were really excited and that was around beginning of October. We texted the guys and they backed out. So that was the first New York um that i had you know that it just hits you in the, in the face it slaps you real hard but it was like okay um that sucks so then we decided that we were gonna look for a place for me so instead of finding like an apartment just like a one bedroom apartment which are like freaking expensive that's like a thousand six hundred here in new york i'm actually gonna be doing a video on how to find an apartment or how to find a room here in new york the websites I use, the Facebook groups I use, everything I use. So we started looking and we found a couple places, but they were all, you know, like, okay. They weren't like amazing. They weren't like the first place we had seen. The prices were a little higher. I met this girl named Taylor that um, she actually does YouTube videos as well. And she said, hey, I'm looking for an apartment too. So let's be wrong whites. So that made things easier because then it was the two of us finding a two bedroom apartment or maybe even three and then finding the last roommate to place. Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm holding this little piece of paper up on the floor. Yeah, my room is a mess right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit later, but <laughs> yeah. We started looking for three bedroom apartments or even four because we said, okay, if we find a nice big apartment, uh, then we can bring in the other two people through Facebook or anything like super quick. So that was mid-October. We only had half a month to find a place, sign a lease, find the last uh, roommate and get out of that apartment that Juan was uh, living in. So we were kind of like stressing out by that point. And we found this place that we really, really liked. It was like hardwood floors, a brick wall, everything was super nice. The living room was huge. My room had like a little French door. It was really nice. And this was like upper Manhattan, like towards Washington Heights. So we were like, okay, this is great. Let's do it. And then Juan, my boyfriend, uh, came to see the apartment with us. And he was like, you know what? I want that room. So we were back on track with a plan of living in the same apartment, having separate rooms. And then we just needed one more person and the plan would be complete and perfect and we would just have everything solved. <laughs> I had to go for my to my stepsister's wedding in North Carolina that same week. Okay, so basically we saw that apartment on Wednesday 18th of October. And I came back from North Carolina on Monday 23rd, but I worked. I worked Monday and Tuesday, so I could only show the apartment on the 25th. That meant we only had six days. <laughs> we only had six days to get out of there, find um, the last roommate, sign the lease, and like move in. <sighs> 
yeah so uh damon which is our current roommate uh actually texted us and was like hey i'm interested i want to keep the room so we were like yes thank the lord because we really thought we might have to like find something else we started doing the application we turned it in around friday they told us okay it'll take about two days to give you an answer so we were really 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 hoping that would work out on the 30th the lady calls us and she says like hey guys so you were not approved for the apartment what but basically they didn't approve us because either we made not enough money or our guarantors together weren't enough or I don't know all of these issues that the owners of the apartment had they were really strict about the people they wanted and maybe because we were students they didn't like that I don't know it was just like a combination of a bunch of stuff so we were back at zero with no apartment we had one day to move out and yeah but the good thing is that we were four people looking for an apartment now. We had Damon, Taylor, me, and Juan. Juan and I. <laughs> so I talked to Juan's roommates that are like the nicest people in the world. I want to do a video with them. They're like the best. Uh, JP and Valentin. So I talked to them and I was like, hey, I literally have no place to go. Could I stay in your couch for a couple of days till we find an apartment? They were like, yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna throw you in the street. So I, I was gonna stay with them. Juan was gonna uh, stay with some friends in Harlem. So we rented a U-Haul, we packed everything we had in boxes. We dropped them off at different play, uh, friends' houses. So our things were gathered in eight boxes and all over Brooklyn and Harlem. <laughs> I had like a terrible like shoulder, um, stress ball <laughs> and everything was just like super chaotic and messy but we were working it out you know and we were seeing a bunch of apartments especially me because Juan um had a lot of stuff to do and like Taylor would come with me to see the places I was like okay Taylor we're seeing five apartments today we set up a bunch of scenes in two days so we found this three bedroom apartment that we freaking loved and it was also hardwood floors this room that i'm in right now amazing so you guys a little spoiler we got it obviously <laughs> because i'm here i'm gonna give obviously a room tour and a house tour and everything tour you know it's super cool super fun so we started applying we sent out everything and they were like okay uh we'll accept it but you guys have to give us two deposits, two um, initial deposits in that first month. So we're like, okay, it's, it's okay, don't worry. Each person had to give like $2,000 up front. So I was gonna be broke, I'm still kind of broke. We turned in the application and literally the day they told us, yeah, you, can, you, you guys are in, Taylor had a family emergency and Thank God everything worked out with her, like her family's fine, but uh, she had to back down. So at that point, we were like, so we posted it on Facebook, we find a person the day after, and he submitted everything and we were done. We were done. So we sent it every, everything out and the guy was like, okay, let's do it. So we signed the lease. We got the key, we got the U-Haul, we got our things in, and we're finally here. And that is why I have not posted in a whole freaking month, because I've just been dealing with all of this. And I miss you guys so much. It was just like a whole experience, but you know that's New York, and even if it hit me right from the beginning, um, that's how you learn. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I wanted you guys to know what's been up with me and where I've been, why I haven't posted videos. And there's so many more videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for listening and for supporting and for being there. And I'm sorry I left you guys again, but you know, I hope you guys understand. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you on my next video, okay? Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So even if I did already the whole ending of this video part, I just wanted to mention that the lesson of this whole story is to always be 
grateful for what you have. We just take it for granted so many times and just going through this experience, now that I'm here, I appreciate everything so much more. I don't know, I just wanted to add that little thought into this video because I just think it's so important to really think about what you have and appreciate it. Yeah, okay. <laughs>